I'm Michael Nugent and I'm an atheist and I'm openly secular. I'm a writer. I write a combination of comedy material and uh, serious material and I'm also chairperson of Atheist Ireland which is an advocacy group that promotes atheism and reason and ethical secularism. In Ireland we have a constitution the first line of which is that all authority comes from the Holy Trinity and which also contains lines saying that the homage of public worship is due to Almighty God and the President and judges and members of the Council of State have to swear religious oaths in order to take office. The uh, blasphemy is an offence in our constitution, never mind in our laws. So in, in Ireland we're still trying to, to uh, bring about secular laws that we can then defend Whereas in America, in most cases, at least on, on a national level, there are secular laws to defend. In Ireland, uh, I would say that it was harder to say that you're an atheist some years ago. Ireland was a very Catholic country, it's now a more pluralist country. Uh, since Atheist Ireland was founded, which is about five years ago, we've made a point of trying to normalise the word atheist. We, we say the word frequently, we use it in our press releases when we're on television or radio, that you know, the name Atheist Ireland is there. And we found that over, over the last few years that that has helped to normalise the word. That the more people hear and see the word atheist, and particularly the more times that people see and hear the word atheist, when the people who are self-identifying as atheists are doing good things and are being reasonable, that's what chips away the prejudice against the word atheist. Whereas if atheists retreat from using the word atheist while we're doing good things and say, oh, well, it's important that we don't alienate people while we're doing this, so we'll use a different word, then that just maintains the prejudice because people don't see people doing good things while self-identifying as atheists. So, so I consciously use the word as frequently as I can.